back everyone it is getting closer to my favorite time of the year and if you have not guessed it yet it is fall the reason why i love fall so much is that it's not too hot it's not too cold the colors are neutral but there is also pops of oranges reds browns that complement each other very well and so with that being said I love to bring fall into my home today I want to show you guys how to debug or to prepare acorns for decorating now the first thing we need are acorns you can get acorns from the store, but, but I prefer to gather them from nature. They are free, you can grab as many as you like, and they come in all types. It's pretty easy to find acorns on the ground. They are always under oak trees, which acorns come from. You can look for them in your yard, at a park, or at a school. That's where I found many of my acorns. At this school, they had multiple types of acorns. And so that's how I was able to get a variety. You're going to also need a glue gun with glue sticks, a bucket or a bowl to soak your acorns, a pan, foil, your oven, and towards the end, clear spray paint. After you gather your acorns, you want to use your bowl or bucket to soak your acorns to remove or loosen the dirt. You can use a toothbrush or a rag. I personally used my fingers. I did not mention this earlier, but you want to look for acorns that are whole, meaning the cap or the top is still attached to the acorn. You will find that the caps of the acorn will detach when they are soaking. The reason why I say this is because acorns are unique. They are not the same shape they are not the same size they are not symmetrical so to go back to the reason why to pick your acorns with the tops it's so that when you go to reattach the cap to the acorn it fits snug and it looks untouched after you are done cleaning your acorns, you want to sort your acorns on a sheet pan lined with foil. You are now going to place the sheet pan into an already preheated oven of 200 degrees. The reason why we are baking these is because it will kill whatever little critters are inside of these acorns. You want to bake these for two to three hours. You want to check on them often by moving the pan around because some may dry out, crack, leak, or get stuck to the pan. Once they are done, let them cool down for about an hour. Inspect them for cracks, leaks, and holes. If you find any like that, throw those away. Now what we want to do is match the top to the bottom of each acorn. Doing this will make it easier to put your acorns together. You want your acorns to look untouched, so you want to make sure that they fit snug. Here is an example of how I put the glue on the inside top of the acorn.
also hot glued the outside of the acorn where the top and the bottom meet, creating a seam. I then use the tip of the glue gun to even out the glue on the acorn to make it look flush. Looking back at this on the outside of the acorn, I would have used maybe super glue or some other type of adhesive that dries clear so that the hot glue isn't as noticeable. When you are done, you are going to give your acorns a clear coat of spray paint. Please do this outside because spray paint emits strong pans. You also see that I used the same pans that I baked the acorns in. You don't have to use the same pans, but these are old pans for me and they are also covered in oil, so it will not do much harm. I let these dry for a day and a half outside because of the spray paint smell. This is how I store my acorns. I made these back in 2017 and this snippet is from early 2021. As you can see they are holding up pretty well. All I need to do is just recap some of the acorns. what happens when you do not completely dry your acorns before you store them. You end up with a situation like this. As you can see, they are pretty moldy. I hope this video helps with your decorating.